show you the pinball. I already opened this, Rob. We got something from Aaron from uh, Poatuck, Connecticut. Dear Todd and gang, love the videos. The videos are very detailed and I journey learning the history of the games and how to play them. In the box are some delicious coffees, cookies, and a random mug. Oh, a mug. Keep up the good work. And if you know anyone that wants a Neo Geo, let me know. Aaron, he's in Connecticut. Anybody want a Neo Geo? He's in Connecticut. A mug, Rob. Rob, smell the coffee. Quick, people are waiting. It arrived safe and sound. Hey. Blind pig coffee. <laughs> has Todd's name underneath. Ooh. This has... <laughs> black cherry, velvety, and cacao. Classic tuned medium dark. Whole bean. And he has sent some petite alacor, alia, um, extra uno eclair noir, 70% cocoa. <laughs> wow, that was beautiful. Inglis. Inglis. Get A -O back to work on that. All right, listen, here's what we're doing. <laughs> we teach us Inglis here. Let's <laughs> cut to the coffee now. Aaron, it looks good. It smells good. Rob already had some. I've already had some. But I add my low or no fat milk, Rob. You know why I use no fat milk? Because I don't want to get fat. Because we're drinking blind pig coffee. Oh! I like it. Dave's blind pig coffee. It's very good. Let me good. tell you something, Aaron. This will have me screaming. Just like that. This is a diet cherry. They're very good. They're, it's chocolate on the top. These are like shortbread. But they're biscuits. It's a very dark, heavy chocolate. And it's perfect with the blind pig. Mm -hmm. <laughs> perfect. Listen, thank you. Aaron, you're wonderful. We just got an email request. Actually, the comments on YouTube. He wanted me to send our little card. There's the card. So I said, e here's my email address. Send me your address. So I got this. Hi, Todd. Keep the videos coming. I love them, and so does my daughter. As I ask on the YouTube channel, can I please receive one of your business cards? Kind regards, Tony, Belgium. <laughs> I'm so mean. I said, sure, I can send one to Tony in Belgium. Will it get there with just that on the envelope? I think you have a shot. <laughs> and look, it's one of those dollar forty cent stamps. That was mean. You know what, Rob? I think that qualifies for Darren's idea for Creep of the Week. You qualify. But I qualify. What do you <laughs> think, Frank? Creep. Creep every second of the time. So anyway, he responded Creeps back. Too. Oh, I'm sorry. I thought you sent it by email. I can get one, a real one, that's super. Thanks again. Then he gives me his address in Belgium. Okay. Anyway, I responded back. Do you want me to make it out to your daughter? See, I, I read ahead, say. Disagree. Does she like watching the videos? And she and she said, yes, she likes the videos. She only likes them. Tony said that. Make it out to Jamie. So wait a minute, Jamie, I'm going to be sending you a card made out to you and not to your dad. Just to you. I'll send them to you. They'll be worth money one day, won't they, Frank? Yep. Hmm. Now, I know you want to see our pinball machine. But I'm going to show you a couple seconds of the white water that just came back. It happens to have Kurt right next to it. I'll play it. This is the one we sold about a month ago and they did the full credit. They traded it back in. 
And he got that Pirates of the Caribbean. And now this one's ready. Beautiful. So we're going to ship this right out. As soon as somebody says they want it. Probably not going to want your stupid cookie mm -hmm. They're probably not going to want your stupid cookie crumb balls, right? Oh. That was me. See how we have the red Big flash looks a little like he turns his head and does. Watch. <laughs> Get it, get it zoomed on Bigfoot. Yeah, does that look like John or what? I thought that was Pam. Alright, alright. They've been waiting, they've been waiting. We made a My wife would kill you. She'd sit on you. Okay. Listen. You've been waiting for Speakeasy. And I just so happen to have a Speakeasy set up right here, right now. We are going to show you a remarkable game from Bally. I, I'm actually quite amazed. I've had these pass through here. The Bally Speakeasies. These were made back in August of 82. Only 3,000 were manufactured of this very specially sized machine. The skinny head factor. Look at that. It's just a little bit above the 21 inches of the width of the play field, the width of the play field here. So we're only about 26 inches here. The skinny head. Two display, a two player game. The only other two player game at this time was Grand Slam, the baseball game, because you had your home versus your away team. But I'm told that they made a thousand overseas versions that were four player. They crammed two more displays in the glass to do the fourth player. And I heard an, uh, a European distributor wanted four players, and I think most of them were shipped overseas. I have never seen a four player, and I've seen very few of these. This one came in, it was quite, quite ugly. Now we're going to do a comparison. I want you to look at this cabinet and how beautiful Stephen has restored the art. Only the best at TNT. It's not the best. Uh, Beautiful, beautiful thing. These originally, of course, were stencils. We're not doing stencils. There's nobody on planet Earth that does stencils for this game. Come on the side, Robert. You don't have to concentrate on me. We'll concentrate on the game and how beautiful it is. Actually, you know what? Let me lighten it up a bit. It's a little better. Not much. But all this color, come in close, Rob. Has been repainted wherever needed. The blue had to be done. We had to do some of the yellow, but some of the orange could be just touched up. It didn't have to be completely redone. Steven performed magic on this. I want you to look at the play field now because you're seeing this play field finished. And you know, Rob, I always like doing the fun stuff. And you know what the fun stuff is? Comparing it to the other one. Shall we compare? This is a mess. This Not is anymore, speakeasy. Is well, you can see how these are all polished. All the the original brackets. He had to reverse everything, so it back to screws. They had uh, wood screws. So all the wrong stuff. All the pop plugged in here. Completely taken apart. And rebuilt. See how shiny and bright. This game was a mess when you I started. Before doing the a switches, mess. cleaning them all, new caps. Now look. We haven't done the bulbs yet. Look at this. No, just put them in. Isn't it disgusting? You said to use the used bulbs in the trash can. That's right. We could send the, the... Anyway, Frank, I think it's time we move on. Look! A big difference. Walt's filming now because it's the next day. Look, he's got this back together. Frank's got this back together. I found out something interesting about this play field. It's green. This was an experiment. This speakeasy has a plastic play field, not a wood play field. This is plastic. That's why it's got this beautiful shine still to it. Now, Stephen hasn't done his magic yet to the cabinet. Yeah, I thought we thought we'd like to see what it looks like here. Hey, Curry. Magic. Um, we've had, obviously, all of the posts. We buy hundreds and hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of posts from Steve at Pimble Resource. And we have this one lit in the slightly lower uh, LED for our customer. He didn't want it. 
didn't want to be blinded, but look, I wanted you to see how this is installed here. Now we have the strip here, and then the customer can, in fact, take, unplug it and take, leave the strip in place if he has to take parts off. He's still in the process of putting the screws back in. See this this ugly looking thing here. This has got to be Who's painted doing that? too. Fat ass, fat ass is working on this. You, you can't call my Frank fat ass. Fat ass. He is pretty fat, isn't he? You're skinny. Thank you. You're so skinny. Tonight's Pizza Hut. That's what you need. No. Oh. But listen, wait a minute. Come over here, Walt. You're going to go to Pizza Hut with us, right? Diet Pizza. Walt, I'm supposed to talk. As far as I know. Good. Okay. <laughs> Well, look again. Quite a difference. Look at this thing. This is a plastic play field, okay? I, was, I called Steve Young to order these new pop bumper caps, and he told me, he said, you know, Todd, this was experimental to use a plastic resin on the play field on this one game. Supposedly there were some wooden ones made, but I've only... I don't remember. See, you know, there was a time, Rob, when nobody cared. It's a pinball. It makes money. It doesn't make money. You throw it in the warehouse. Eventually, you throw it in the dumpster. Nobody cared what the play field was made out. They just wanted to see if it made money. Well, now people care. I want you to look close. Do you see this dark green? That's that resin. And when you touch it, you know it is actually not wood. Never really yeah, thought about yeah. it. See? Yeah, I never, I never really, really thought that. about it. Yeah. But we did tons of work on this Beautiful. thing. Beautiful. Uh, obviously, all the flippers are rebuilt with new parts. You saw what Frank was doing. Yeah, the stroke switches. We did the same thing with the pop bumpers, all disassembled. The kick out holes, look how shiny, look like brand new. LEDs throughout the machine. We do more work on our games than anybody on the planet. We really do. I mean, you have to. Now, what Frank did, the original wiring, see these wires? This apparently was how Bally, there was no plug. You could unsolder the wires to take off those swing targets. Now, Frank realized at some point down the road, the new owner of this, we're shipping this far away. Remember the guy getting the devils there in Monroe's for Tennessee. I can't remember. You know, I worked on a boat dock in Rutledge, Tennessee for was it 15 years, Rob? I'm trying to remember. Rob came down to my aunt and uncle owned it on Cherokee Lake. And we used to go to the arcades down there. I've told you that in other stories. So we love Tennessee. Anyway, this is that little affair here that resets the targets, okay? What Frank did, come back here, Rob. Turn Mr. Camera around. I'm pointing it out with my finger. See this? I see it. Frank has added a plug. So if the customer has to service this, you take these four screws off, this lifts off, and the person can unplug the drop target board. Now let me show you how this works. Look. See, the target goes up and it clicks in. Do you hear that click? Now, the little coil underneath just slides over, just a hair, oh, yeah. and lets them drop back down. Nice. It's a simple, great system unless you get some clod hopper in there with a needle nose pliers that goes, I'm gonna adjust this. Just what was the year of this game? I'm gonna adjust it this way, 1982. Wow, it's beautiful. It is. It looks brand new. Actually, I think it's the same year as, go oh, I can't get up, Rob. <laughs> <laughs> That's the way I feel. <laughs> Wait a minute, let me do it. Ah. This, game, this game reminds me a little bit of Monte Carlo. It, it's well, that, and Millionaire, yes, the wheel system. Yeah. But um, Monte Carlo has a lot more, like, ink work. Well, detail. I hope it does, because but it's this is seven very years nice. newer, or yeah, six years newer. Is, but this is their... I really uh, like this one. This is the first game of their wheel. This wheel is very dependable. Now, we took the switches out, and we burnished each of those contacts. They are gold-plated. But listen, after 35 years, it's time to burnish it with this. That is a fiberglass eraser, and you can buy it. Uh, you can buy it direct from the fiberglass company, but I think they have a minimum order. But you can order a single one from Amazon. The greatest, what a number one thing in your toolbox if you're a pinball technician. You can brush the top layer of gold a little bit, get the contact nice and clean again, 
and it will never have to be cleaned again. In home use, after 30 some years, it does need cleaning. But uh, look at this thing. Yeah, it's beautiful. Now, uh, as a matter of fact, here's the man of the hour. <clears throat> We're admiring, no, that, the wrong man. <laughs> We're admiring You're not used to this, this gorgeous away. machine. <laughs> oh, frankly. Usually you prefer them naked. <laughs> and muscular. <laughs> well, you have to offer them not much. Ah. <laughs> anyway, Rob, walk around here. We're, we're in the wrong direction. Now. now, we were going over all the wonderful things you did. Frank, were these lead originally? Yeah. Okay, they were. Okay, I couldn't remember. So they, but look, when Frank, they added was this. Frank, Frank added the lighting here. Yeah, I saw that earlier, okay. and I thought a fire bulb would look good behind the candles. Oh, yes, I look. I did add that. Isn't that neat? So he's got a fire from Comet Pinball. And I have fires back here. I was hoping they would be in the right positions, but this way it kind of brings attention to the out of all sun. Well, you know, I could write to ballet, so the next could, but you don't know how to write, so it doesn't We could put the <laughs> bulbs in the right position. <clears throat> you know they cram... Let me show you what they do here. Frank, we were just looking over how beautiful this thing is. Now, do you see this? Do you see this? They, it can, it, it, amazingly, they put so much stuff in this thing. They made this an Attaball, the first electronic Attaball, Frank. Mm -hmm. This system uh, is great. I mean, they really could cram a lot of stuff out of it. Oh, my gosh. Definitely they, the best system for the era. Uh, it's certainly better than the, the replacement, this horrible 6803 series. I'm sorry. Yeah, it's got a thumbs good. down. I don't like the 6803s. Now, look, we have a new... The driver board. To run the LEDs, you had to put the Alltech LED board in and the Alltech auxiliary driver. Obviously, they ran out of light bulb sockets, so they had to make the auxiliary one. Has this great. Still support those extra lights. That's right. Nice. And see this board here? That's their sound board. It's got some really great sounds. You're going to hear sounds in it that you hear in a lot of the ballet games of its era. And then one of the last uses. Well, no, no, they still had a few more years yet to go. With the 68. The. Uh, the MP3 um, 35 board and look Frank's board. board you can order this board from Franklin's uh, right from our website 1399 plus tax and free actually there's no tax if it ships outside of Pennsylvania so. but that's a great board because Frank has built the blo blocking diode you have to put in there if you don't you can put change take this resistor out because this board will try to charge that battery. So you don't have to worry about and it. let me tell you something. When you try to charge a lithium battery, this is what happens. I'm not kidding. That's what happens. That's just how we know. We know because we've had some defective diodes. So if you put That's a lithium battery in, you should change the diode too. But if you buy the board, you don't need it because it's already on your right. already thought and, and And if you put the battery in a Williams game, there's already a blocking diode on the Williams board. The one that's going to go short, but you'll never have to worry about it. But you won't, the because this will take over. Frank uses fresh supplies. You don't use used diodes, do uh, you? Secondhanddiodes.com is where you're going for. Now listen, that four player, they jammed two more displays in here. There are oh, pictures on the IPDB. That's Jay's wonderful free um, for everyone to, to use a database for all the pinball machines. He appreciates uploads of pictures and things that he doesn't have. As a matter of fact, I'm about to upload the ROM files for the Jax to Open prototype. So they'll be available for everybody. I'm going to say about that. I won't tell them. Find it. Oh, maybe I can't. I didn't think about that. I don't think about much, do you? I don't think, food. I don't think. Food! <sighs> oh, Frank. All right, listen. This game has a boatload of ways to win free games. I mean, more than anything else, tons of ways. They add a feature, a really clever feature where if you want to get your sequence lights back, you can give away 25,000 of the hard-earned points you earn. You have one chance to do it before you shoot the ball, and you'll, you'll get your sequence back. There's two sequences. This sequence here, up top, I mean, and then this sequence here. This is the only one that you can sacrifice and, and then get your points back. If you get these down tough boogies, you're screwed. 
No. Anyway, but these reset. So you start fresh with them anyway. There's other ways to get specials. The Joker Lane. If you get four Jokers, you get a special. You can also set it where you get a, a, a extra ball. See this yellow target? You hit it once, 5,000, 2, 10,000, 15, 20, and finally a special. All you do is roll through the lane. Of course, when you roll through the lane, you go right down the toilet. But you bump it back. Well, the problem is it's a little hard to bump because you got plastic here and here. Actually, uh, we, Stephen had to remake this plastic. There was nothing. Oh! Had to remake that plastic. There was nothing there. Now, look. We've protected his game with these. Kurtz here. Kurtz. That's so. Kurtz here. Did you have to interrupt my video to give that announcement? Well, since everybody's wondering where it is all day, everybody. <clears throat> well, we should tell them at least we have pretzels. The pretzels Look. my brother forgot yesterday. Look, I made good on my promise. Yeah, the day late. Dollar store. It's really necessary to have your stupid fingerprints all over this metal that I polish. Oh. Did you highly polish it? Not as good as you polish some things you got. Ooh. I polished that ball. Polish your knob, baby. Boom, but on boom. He's here all week, folks. Now, now let's show these now. You're familiar with the one light. That tells you if you have credits in your game. And they put a color changer in, which is kind of a waste of a color changer. But um, see that one there? Oh, but every other one, we put color changers in there. But now all of a sudden, this one's a waste. Every other friggin' one. But this one right there is a waste. Did you put it in front? Maybe I did, maybe I didn't. Well, what I'm are you going to do about it? I'm not happy with a color Wait a changer there. Wait a minute. Let me show you the field of that I have. Oh, it's barren. There's nothing there. I, ha I have to bloop that. Just bleep it. Now look, do you see this? This, you popped that out, you were so angry. Okay, see this, <laughs> this is your sacrifice. When that bulb is on, at the end of the bulb, when the bulb goes down the toilet, that bulb will come on and give you one chance to operate this button to get your, your lights back in sequence. You're gonna this see that. Button. Now, the spin lights. We have it set on the easier mode where they're both on. You can alternate it. As all Gottlieb games, there's a whole boatload yeah, of Gottlieb. adjustments. The Gottlieb. Gottlieb's too ah. easy. God, you're stupid. Oh, oh, God. I can't. This is Have a production. We actually scripted it that way. Oh. Let me see the script. I, I lost it. it. Kurt, are you leaving me? Yeah. Is this where I'm headed? That's where you're headed. Is there a balance? I don't know. Oh, no, it's an, an event. I don't know. Ask those idiots. They said they didn't collect any money. Okay, well, then you collect the balance. That, and when does pick up? Tomorrow? Saturday. Saturday? Tomorrow's Saturday. Tonight's Pizza Hut. <laughs> Enjoy. Ah, fun. You have to go. No. But Kurt, please, you got to hurry. The party's at 530, and they're going to they're gonna kill us. Murder us. They're going to kill you. You own the place. No, it's I'm going to tell them it's your fault. Why would you deliver a broken game to them? Shift the blame. Oh, wait a minute. Why would oh, you deliver a broken game? Kurt, can you test out that machine and make sure it's perfect? Who took the fuse I'll out test of it? Let me just take it. The fuse, the main fuse. I've There's got no it all working. It's that. good to go. It's good to go. I did not say that. Eh. Wrong. I just brush off all the leaves and dirt off of it. He loves it when I shake like that. We have to get this crated then. We're almost done. Is it? Uh, first of all, let's see. What a creep. I have a phone, Todd. It's the U.S. Geological Survey. They said you're killing the Richter scale machines with that shaking you do. Mmm. Long. The machines only rated to 10. They just registered to the 900 with you doing your belly. Listen, dance. Tubbs, you are fatter than me. Stop looking at your shirts. Ew. <laughs> All right, look. <laughs> look. See this rollover? We took, we threw it out. These rollovers are crappy. The, uh, no, no, no. The 35-year-old rollovers are crappy. So just buy a new one. Break down and buy a new one. We put the clear one in so we can light it any which way we want. When you put this in, you got to be careful because sometimes it'll sit a little too high. And when you shoot the ball too fast, instead of hitting the switch, 
It'll jump over. Oh, we had that on an eight ball. It was an eight ball. Me and Kurt spent hours trying to figure out. We thought yes. it was a switch. So you might have to grind the bottom edge of it down, put it down in there, make sure it's nice and flush. You have to pop it back out very lightly, grind it down. It'll take a little bit of time, but if you don't, the switch will never work right. Or a stiffly uh, worded email stiffness. to Steve at Pinball Research yeah, and yeah. scream at him. Steve watches the videos. He's going to be very upset. He's going to probably raise my rates. All right, look. To qualify for this sticker, all these wonderful things had to do, had to be, ha had to happen. I want to show you something. See this ball here? It kicks it over. The vector, what they call the vector, when they set this in the play field, it's designed to hit the flipper here. This one's turned the other way. Every time you go in this hole, it will spit it down the joker. So in addition to having a chance to lob the ball there, by, by some perchance, if you go in the hole, you'll get your joker. Isn't that nice? Nice feature. Very nice feature. All right, all right. Now, now are you excited? Do you want to see this baby play? Okay. Now, do you see our numbers? Now watch what happens when we start the game. Look at this. It's loading. And there we go. We have three balls to play. And I want you to observe in sequence, because they're all in sequence and in sequence. So when you shoot Mr. Ball up, and it goes through here, you want to roll through either the five or the nine. If you roll in any of these others, it will go out of sequence. Let's suppose you roll through the nine. Now, that means you've got to get the, them in sequence this way. And Forward making or backwards. Well, now you have to go backwards. Since you started with nine, you got to go backwards. That's right. Making cards in sequence sense. adds two balls. Okay. Pretty hard to now do, it actually. bumped because my fingers, capacitance on this system, know that's the capacitance of your body. My body is touching the ball, my body is full of wonderful things. Balls? <laughs> <Yeah>. Mostly <laughs> cholesterol. <laughs> <laughs> and then when you roll through the laid, <laughs> see, I'm still at see. Mostly cholesterol. Oh, <laughs> now watch. Roll through again. Now watch when I get this. Now I want you to watch that number. Watch. See? Now the knock wasn't a free game. The knock was add a ball. Okay? You get them down, you will add another. See? Isn't that wonderful? Now watch. Let's roll through Mr. Lane again. Out of sequence, bulb is out. That's the end of that. But we're going to come back to that in a minute. Come down here, Robbie. A Frank put purple. I thought this was nice. Really nice colors, Frank. Now, this one is also in sequence. Now, Frank, can you do either way or does it have to be I the right way? Let's do the right way first. We're in sequence. Now, 10 to ace in sequence adds a ball. Okay, well, that, that answers that and advances your chip value. So we're up to here. Now, once again, the knock was a ball, was not a free play. Okay, let's, let's see if it works. Ah, uh, nope, it doesn't. Ow, it's done. So that one, yeah, that's, that's just okay. So now we learned, we learned something. We should have actually known that before we started filming. So much for scripting it. I script everything. Now, just for fun, see, we only have 8,000 points, so I can't, we can't buy our, our sacrifice. Point. We need more points. So let's get some more points. I wanted to show you this. I thought this was sharp. Okay. See, 5,000? 10,000, see? See how, and it also, by the way, adds your bonus here. Isn't that nice, that nice little arc? I don't have to hit it anymore. I just go through there like that. Now, I got three games. And so I got the special, I guess. It well, didn't add a ball, though, did it, Frank? So okay, now look. Game? Look, spin, wheel, when let. See, they're both lit. So let's roll, I'll tell you what, let's roll in this one. Because I want you to see where it goes. You'll get whatever's here. Look, subtract a ball. There's creeps. Ah, look, I added a ball. That's well, kind of nice. The special still. Can you get another special? Let's see. But of course, when I dream, I don't have enough points. Let's get a few more points. God, oh God, don't hit the 10 point switches. <laughs> okay, now we're up there. All right, now look up here. See, 28,000. We're going to take Mr. Ball and we're going to drain it. Now, we get our bonus spin, 3,000 points, nice. If that resets, so now we're back in sequence, but up here we're out. Now look, 
Look. See? Now. Should I or shouldn't I? Now watch what happens when I hit Mr. Button on the side. It took away those points, didn't it? But I'm back in sequence again. Isn't that nice? Nice? Very nice. I think it's very nice. Now, more features. Our Joker hole. Watch. We get our spin. 3,000. Obviously, 3,000 is the most uh, cho chosen one because there's one, two, three, four, five. There's six of them. So that's probably more likely. But if we go in there again, two. Now watch when I get three. And finally four. I added a ball, didn't I? Very nice. Isn't that great, Frank? Wonderful. Now, once again, you so don't have to worry about... To minus balls. Then what happens? Oh, that's not good, is it? I don't think the only way you can minus balls is, is, is by going in here. I guess you could be down that one ball after you could go in a minus ball and you'd lose it. But how do you get minus two? What happens? How do you go from having zero to minus two? I guess you could happens? go in the hole. I don't know. You could put four more quarters in before you can Somebody, play. Yeah, the owner of this new game is going to have to tell us. Now, the the light going up. Let me show you that. I wanted to show you that feature. Our two, three, four times. Get the ace in any order. Okay. Then ten to ace in any order advances your multiplier. Two times. It also advances this. So we're up to 2,000. So you actually get an advance here. Okay? And you don't have to go all the way to the top and roll through. But of course it would be ideal if you did. Do you see how... God, do you see how Frank's... How they move? Well, only the best at the TNT Corporation. I did. Clean and I did. All the coils are clean. Frank was out delivering the pirates of the Caribbean. 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 All right. Caribbean. Caribbean. You got to read it. Cara. That's Caribbean. the first chunk. B. That's another letter. And then in. What about the Caribbean queen? Caribbean that's right. Caribbean queen. Caribbean queen. Right? Right? Yeah, that's, that's how they, right. That's, that's how, how they, they say it. One person says it that way doesn't mean it's the travel Billy agent Ocean says right. Caribbean. Nobody gives a shit. Yeah, but Billy the, Ocean, but Billy Ocean, Ocean is right. It's not 1982. All right, let's play a ball. So it gets off that annoying sound. Ah! Uh, now that is annoying. That is sucks. annoying. But I have seven bulls up. 3,000 again. Frank, we haven't landed on anything but that. But There's but four 15,000. Oh, you disconnected <laughs> the water. So I'll never I should have made them all minus one. <laughs> Frank, I should have hit the sacrifice. Crap. But look. 3,000 again. Now look. I'm going to sacrifice. It's loaded it. And look. Now, oh, I, I should have showed you. Now look. It took that bulb away and left these two because these were still in sequence. So it took out the one non one. Now, this is when you learn how to use your, your gauge. It, you know, I think 89% of everybody doesn't know anything about the gauge. Oh! All right, now, do you see this gauge? When it's in your private home, you will know that if you pull it back to the second little one, it should land about there. Get over the sequence. Now, if I roll through a lit one, I get 5,000 points. The unlit's only 500 points. I wanted you to know that. Ten so times the value. You're not, it's no big deal rolling through a lit one. You get tons of points. By the way, the targets I mentioned earlier, they use the same bank on Grand Slam. Uh, the pinball. 15,000 our first hit. Now you know you can do it. As long as you don't get in there with a stupid uh, scorpion hammer. And a, you're still in sequence. I you am? got one left. The center one's on. Okay, now. I, oh! Whoa. 
15. Another 15. Now, I don't have to worry about being... I don't have to sacrifice anything. The light's not on because it knows. The computing device knows. Oh, look, I got it! <laughs> Alright, here Robbie, what do I get? Three. Come back this way because it's easier to discern it. Now, Rob, why don't you follow? Why don't you, idiot? Follow Mr. Boyle. Rob, follow it in a, in a way that's not going to have people. In I think it's easier if you follow it straight on. Yeah, but I can't see through you. You're like a. <laughs> Never like wall. <laughs> like walls are bubbling inside the table. Oh, look, I, I didn't mention that. Ball. I, 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 I wanted you to see that. Um, the programmers have the lighting. God, Frank, I never looked up the program. Uh, here, here are the programmers, right here. Oh, now watch. When we go, now watch, I want you to watch the lights now. When I go in there, do you see how the lights are moving? And then they flash solid and wiggle. Tiny little detail. Isn't that nice? Just a little extra. They're sitting there. These guys are sitting there going, let's give them everything we can. Look at that. See what I mean about this angle? Not through me. Rob, <laughs> you idiot. I'm playing the game. <laughs> I'm just demonstrating I just got another thumbs down. How tough an angle it is. To shoot from behind you. Who? Oh, you shoot Curtis, overhead of my <laughs> head, Rob, like this. Head. You stand your idiot body right no. here. And you point it here, and then you follow no. Mr. Ball. No. You're allowed to use the zoom at the bottom. Like the zoom. Look how fast this thing is playing. Now, people have asked, will we overhaul games? Yes, we will. Typical overhaul it starts at 2000 and the bill is high as 3500 Unless we have to buy artwork and have something to made. That's what we do. Now look, we're out of sequence again. Just so you see now watch. Now I want to show you something. This is important. Well, we got 15,000. Now look, look right here. Now watch. These three are in sequence and then we're obviously out. When I come down here, look at the light flashing. Now, come back up here. Now, watch. When I hit my button, it's going to dump that one. It's not going to dump these three. It's going to give me the better deal. See? It gave me the better deal. See, that's a nice touch. That's a nice touch. Look at these. Look at all these. Look at these ways of winning replays. Okay? This is adjustable. Extra balls. Have you ever seen so many? Now our customer can set all that stuff up. We're going to give it... We're, we're setting this up on the three ball normal. Right, Robbie? Frank, you missed a rubber. Oh my gosh. The guy's going to have a, a stroke. Isn't there supposed to be a rubber right here, young man? Are you sure? The ball's getting stuck. The ball's getting stuck. Okay. Okay. Yeah, that would be too okay. wide. That's finished because we have We're running out of balls, Robbie. Oh, you know what? I uh, yep, wait a minute. One million points. One million. One million points. I got one ball left. I'm down to zero now, Rob. Zero. Well, I might as well use it. Yeah. We got five. We got. We got one. We got one part up there that's the LED is flickering. Got a loose socket. When you first put new LEDs in, oh, I got my ball back. When you put new LEDs in the socket, sometimes you have to play with the little wires underneath. What the heck? 
Another match. Well, the three I got, well, I, we matched. We got three for, boy. Frank, I did great. <coughs> Well, this thing making us seven dollars a month, giving away all these free games. Oh, this was a tavern piece. What a great idea! What, you idiot, Rob Kit. You, you're supposed to be in command of the camera. He just saw this one. Command the camera. What's going on here? Why wasn't this ahead? Why wasn't this ahead? I, I don't understand. It's I a like this game. Tavern it's a perfect game. game. You saw and just at what this? How long is this video? Ten minutes, twelve minutes, fifteen, whatever. Three hours. You, you learned hours. how to play it. I showed you all the features. Why wasn't this game a hit? Mother just talking. Everybody's shrunk this off. They're watching the Monkey Throwing its Poop videos right now. <laughs> oh, you're not watching the, the Monkey Throwing its Poop video on YouTube, are you? Instead of my video. <laughs> Yeah, they switched it out 10 minutes ago. It's probably like oh. a, a coffee shedding monkey. Remember that one? Yeah, yeah. Kopi Luwak, the rarest beverage in the world. The most expensive coffee in the world. <laughs> oh, God. Well, are we going to get this? We have to get this crated. We'll, we'll top it off with a new piece of glass. And uh, we, what, should we give him the rusty legs, Frank? The yeah. really rusty the ones. Bent rusty legs. <laughs> the bent rusty legs. <laughs> and shall we end with Billy Ocean? <laughs>